Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, here for another To The Point tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I'll go over the link selection tool and how it might save you some time while editing. The tool is a pretty simple concept. It's located on the left side of your timeline window and can be toggled on and off. When turned on, you can select a clip in your timeline and it'll also select all of its associated clips along with it. For example, in my timeline, I have a few clips with their source audio laid down. Currently my link selection is off, so in order to move these video and audio tracks, I'll need to individually select each one at a time. This can be a bit time consuming. But now, when I go to turn my link selection on, you'll notice that as I select these clips, it's highlighting both the video and audio tracks. Having this turned on is a great way to save you some time and some clicking, along with not having to worry about things getting out of sync while moving things around. However, there's a couple quick things to note. So for this clip, my source audio tracks are on A2 and A3. I also decided to add in a different section of that source audio underneath it on tracks A4 and A5. When I select this video track, it highlights all of the source media associated with it, including the A4 and A5 tracks, and will move all of them together. Also over here, I created an edit where the audio tracks of this clip is trimmed over to my next clip. So when I go to trim this video track over, it'll also select and move my audio tracks with it, which may not be what I wanted. So as you can see, there are times where you might want this feature on, and there are also times where you might want this turned off. But luckily, it's placed so conveniently on your timeline window that toggling it on and off is a breeze. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to comment below. And if this tutorial helps you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.